Hi guys and good morning, welcome back to my channel and uh, as you've probably noticed we are out doing some more metal detecting this time so uh, where are we? We're on a brand new permission um, I've never been on this permission before and it actually looks like quite a promising permission too so I'll give you a little bit of history about the site um, it's actually very close to an, an old medieval mansion house um, and the house that's there today is actually a, a Tudor sort of remodel of the house. Um, it's, it's apparently quite a fascinating house, although uh, we haven't really been able to get to it today. Um, but if we do, I'll put it on the camera so you guys can see it. Uh, but it's a very, very historic house, very old mansion house. It's been there since sort of doomsday times, those sorts of things. And the really interesting part about that house is that it interconnects to about three different manor houses that are all within about 10 minutes walk of each other. So uh, there's just so much history here and um, as you can see we're in an absolutely gorgeous little blue bluebell wood. Um, it's a spring day and the birds are singing. Hopefully we're going to get some uh, good finds today. Um, so I'm with Sam today. You'll probably remember Sam from some of my previous videos. And we're actually going to have a little go this morning doing this little uh, track here. Now, what's really interesting about this track is that it interconnects all of the different manor houses. And uh, it would have been the main route, really, to go to each independent one before the main roads were built. So we thought, do you know what? There's got to be some stuff on this little track. So we're going to have a go in here for a few hours. And then if we don't get too much, uh, or if we get a bit bored or something, we're going to go into one of the fields. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Wish us luck. Uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. We're going to film them as they come out. You know the score by now. Let's get going. It looks like it's some sort of cupper and nickel, it's got a red tinge to it. I don't know if it's the end of a rim fire possibly. Um rim fire bullet casing or some sort of rivet, but um yeah, <laughs> nothing nothing old and nothing exciting but um it's picking up the small stuff so if uh, if there's anything nice there then it's gonna it's gonna find it hopefully. It kind of looks a bit like a pot leg, what do you think? Yeah, it's got like a, a collar up there and it looks like that's where it would have broken off. That was only about an inch and a half deep. I, I, I really struggled with the hole because there was um, obviously a big log there so I couldn't pinpoint properly. Um, but yeah, it was in the cork. It was in the side of the hole, and gave a belt rubber signal of about seventy-seven.
Okay, so unfortunately we did all that digging um, for a little piece of lead. <laughs> oh well, that could have been anything though and it was quite a nice signal so uh, yeah, it was worth a go. But um, hopefully the rest of the signals aren't going to be on this trodden path because these stones and things, yeah, really difficult digging. Okay, so uh, I've been digging this hole for absolutely ages. Um, it's so difficult to dig around here. It's certainly not as easy as it is in the fields and especially not in the ploughed fields either. But um, yeah, I did persist. I wasn't gonna give up and I've dug all these stones out. I've made a bit of a mess to be honest and I'll have to try and put it back exactly as I found it. But I think I've just found a little coin so it was definitely worth the dig and um, yeah. It's quite an interesting little coin. I would have said that it could possibly have been like a Georgian coin or something like that. But there is this uh, kind of shield decoration on the front of it that I've not really seen before. Um, and it's got something on the back as well. So yeah. Um, it's quite an interesting one. I don't really know too much about it. Um, it could be like some sort of jetton or something like that, but I've certainly uh, never come across one like that before. And hopefully I can find out a little bit more information about it and uh, I'll let you guys know on the video. But cool, first coin of the day on the path. Let's keep going. So uh, just another piece of lead in this hole guys, um, right in the middle of the path too, so it's a very similar piece of lead to the other piece that we had further down the other end by the gate. And I know that um, Sam's found a few pieces of lead as well, so yeah, certainly seems to be quite a lot of lead around here, um, but we don't know why. But let's push on, see what else we can get, hopefully we find some uh, more coins, maybe we'll even find some jewellery. Well, there we have it. A very small, rusty nail. And that'd be why it was throwing up the, um, the zeros, ones and twos on the machine as well as a, a good signal. But certainly a very old nail. Okay guys, so we have given it a really, really good go on that trackway through the woods. Um, probably for about two hours or so and uh, yeah it's not been too bad I mean we've had some pretty good finds uh, nothing to write home about but um, yeah you know it's uh, what you would expect really for a for a trackway lots of trash but uh, the odd few good bits sort of mixed in digging was pretty awful though um, as you saw so uh, we've come up into one of the fields now and there's about four or five of them here that we can do and the grass is really really short as well so that means that uh, 
you know, we, we're not going to have to be struggling with the long grass. And um, yeah, we're going to give this field a go. This field is probably the closest field um, to the old mansion house. So we're hoping that, uh, you know, somebody might have dropped something in here at some stage. And uh, yeah, let's give it a go. There we go guys, unfortunately, just a uh, relatively modern uh, button on that one. Yeah, there's not much age to that. Oh well, first one in the, uh, in the field, so certainly easier digging, I'll take that for nothing. But let's move on, see what else comes out. Okay guys, so I've just had this tiny, tiny little so uh, signal here. And uh, I think, it's like a sort of, um, like a stud off of something. Uh, yeah, so it's got like the old uh, sort of pin or shank on the back there. But then uh, on this side, it's just sort of rounded, so it's slightly domed. But I don't know, what do you guys think of that? It's quite an interesting little uh, little item. But it uh, it was fairly deep too, so... That's not too bad, but there's that one. So I've just had uh, this really small little sort of spoon bowly type thing. And uh, you can see it's got the, the handle here as well. There we go. So that's the handle. And then here, you've actually got the big old spoon bowl. So yeah, I mean, I don't think that's particularly old, old. Maybe 100, maybe 200 years old. But uh, there we go. A nice spoon and handle. Okay guys, so I've just had this little uh, target down here and at first I thought it was a big button but then when I took the mud off of the, uh, the back side of it I noticed that it actually had this long pin that came uh, sort of out from behind it and what I actually think that this is is uh, a decorative stud. Now this might have come from a strap uh, maybe something to do with a horse um, but it also might have come off of some furniture as well I'm leaning towards more of a strap because the uh, I don't think the pins really uh, kind of man enough for the job for a bit of furniture but yeah that's what that one is so not a bad little find okay so I've just had a really nice signal probably about sort of five inches deep, something like that. And uh, it's, a, it's a coin ball. Really, really nice uh, signal. So let's um, open it up and see what we've got. Okay guys, so there it is. And that's gonna be my very, very first coin uh, in, this, uh, in this new field today. And it's just come out of this coin ball. 
but let's just see if we can get anything on it any detail or anything like that so it looks um ah it's not a coin it's actually a big button it's like a big uh, tom back button you can see where the shank was on the back there but it looks like it might have something on it as well so that's pretty cool Okay, so we're just going to have a little catch up with Sam and uh, see what he's had. Have you had much, mate? Um, nothing to rewrite the history books, but you know, a few nice um, bits that show people here. There's this, obviously, furniture, uh, hinge, Victorian oh, yeah. hazard, I guess. Uh, that yeah. would have been quite ornate and decorative at one point, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah, it would have been nice and shiny and very, very pretty. Um, a great big tongback button. Oh yeah, so I've just had one similar to that. I wonder if it's off the same like tunic or something. Yeah, same, same coat. Yeah. The seamstress wasn't very good or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, then there's that. I've, I've seen these before, but I, I, I never worked out what they are. I mean, it, it looks like obviously a, a button you'd you'd press. I mean, it almost looks like off a typewriter or something. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Just where your finger is. It's just where it's, it's broken just, off. Yeah, it's just. There's one, two, three. Actually, there's one, two, three, four holes. I don't know about that. I've never so, seen anything like that. It looks like there's a pattern on here, obviously, to um, allow your finger to grip on. So yeah, you know, um, yeah. Maybe, maybe if someone's watching this video, they might be able to help us out with that because uh, be interesting to know what that actually is. To be honest. Yeah, it would it looks quite um, looks quite cool. It could be anything at the moment, couldn't it? Unless and then little, ah, those little loops. See, these are about 10 yards away from each other. Unfortunately, that one snapped when I was wiping the mud off. Yeah. A bit heavy handed. But. Um, so they they are uh, uh, known as medieval or late medieval horse tack rings, aren't they? So they're kind of like buckles. Um, but they are definitely late medieval. So that's kind of the period we're going for, mate, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. The, it uh, marries up with stuff. The, the mansion and the, yeah. the manners that dot around this place. Um, absolutely. They dropped there, they might have dropped a coin or a piece of jewellery or a buckle.
Okay guys, so um, I've just dug this hole and uh, I've been foraging around trying to find the target and I've eventually located it. And it's just this thing here sticking out of the side. Um, I know it might be really difficult to see on the camera, but I thought I would just show you it uh, before I pull it out. So I've got to do that now and uh, I'll show you what it is when it comes out. Okay, so I've eventually got some movement on it, um, and as you can see, it's just uh, this one piece here poking out now. But I think if I pull it, it's probably going to all come out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What is that? It looks like some type of uh, bronze or brass steak or maybe a chisel. Yeah, I think that's actually a chisel for working stone. Because you can see here where it would have been hammered at the top. But uh, I couldn't tell you how old that was. If anybody on my channel can help me out with the date then I would be eternally grateful, but uh, huh, pretty good signal. It's very loud. Let's um, let's keep going, guys. See what other bits come out of this field. Okay, so I'm just walking over to see Sam. Just going to show him my odd thing. Yeah, so I've just had uh, just had that out of the ground. I don't know if you know what that would be. That looks like a, um, I think it's a tear and a feather and tear. Like you know how they used to, used to split granite, ah, they'd be okay. they'd drill the holes. Yeah. Um, put put two flat bits of iron in okay. or metal. Yeah. Um, that that you know went with the curvature of the hole and um, that flared out and there were the feathers and then this was the tear that went in the middle and you'd, and you'd hammer it have them all the way along in a line and, then and you'd give them it. one smack each and the pressure would eventually make them make them split. Um, yeah, I would have thought that's, well, that's what it could be. Yeah, I, I thought it was like a chisel or something. Mm. So, what have you had, mate? Anything good? Um, no. <laughs> buttons. Um, buttons? I just found a button in here. Oh no, I found this, of course. I was going to ask you what you thought of this. I haven't got a clue what it is. Wow, okay, so you... Giving it a clean off. You forgot to show me that. <laughs> That amazing buckle. I was gonna say I don't know, I don't know what it is. Is it is it a buckle? Mate, that's wonderful. Uh, it's, it's, it's it certainly made me go wow when I thought it. Uh, yeah, it's a some sort of decorative something. At first, I thought it was a squashed sort of um, cog, as you get cog sometimes, isn't it? With the teeth. Mate, yeah. that's lovely. Do you know what I think it is? What do you reckon it is? I think it's a decorative plate from some furniture. Mm. But that would be, have been some pretty impressive furniture. Pretty fancy and stuff. That would have been very shiny at one point. And that is a lovely find. Yeah, I am. Um, regardless yeah, of. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I found that, to be honest. Regardless of. Um, I knew there was something I found in this field. <laughs> it only being a bit of furniture fitting. That's wonderful. That's really nice. Something in silver. It looks like a silver blade. At first, maybe thinking pen knife, but I don't think they'd use silver for a blade, would they? So, possibly a letter opener, maybe. Let's have a look at the hallmarks there. They're definitely very visible. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's all of them, but might be able to get something off that. So why would you have a silver blade? Very, well, very strange. It's quite a small, it's quite a small little... It almost makes you wonder, doesn't it? Because you wouldn't, well, you it wouldn't want a silver like. blade. So yeah, all I can think is letter opener or something. Ah, oh, I don't know, that's really cool though. But It's definitely silver, isn't it? Yeah, definitely silver. It would have been, well, I'm assuming it would have been wooden. Yeah, wood, uh, wooden than the handle. Oh, if anyone can help us with that, then that would be awesome because uh, 
that's quite a nice little find and it's a tiny tiny little thing but yeah with a silver blade type thing it's really great the call marks on there though cause... awesome well done mate cheers yeah yeah i like that yeah lion roman numerals two a crown and jkl jkl possibly i'll send them to research when we get home else is really nice looks like some kind of key or maybe a stopper for a barrel but yeah there's some really really nice detail on this okay so this is what's just come out of the ground that's pretty cool I don't really know what it is yet so I'm just picking the mud off of it very carefully but it looks like some sort of uh, old key or something doesn't it but yeah, I don't really know what that would have been a key for because it doesn't really seem to have a sort of key on it. It's just a sort of iron stump with this really nice handle at the top. How cool. I mean, obviously that would have, uh, you would have turned something, but I don't know what. Cool. Sam's miles away. <laughs> Come and check it out. Looks great. <laughs> okay guys, so that is what I have just seen poking out of the soil and uh, we moved into the adjacent field to the one that we were in a second ago just because we were getting quite a lot of trashy targets in there. But uh, yeah, that to me looks like a hammered now let's pick it up and have a look because if it is it looks like an awesome awesome hammered so let's have a look guys see what we've got i've got to try and get this in the sun so that we can actually see what's on it but it's definitely a hammered it's an absolutely stunning stunning hammered full flan on that on that coin Mate, it's a cracker. Oh, don't. Is it going to make me cry out of jealousy? It's either a Lizzie. <laughs> Bugger me. Or it's a, it's a Henry. It looks Henry because of the size of the yeah the shield. Not that I know much about him, but but look God. at the full flan on that. Okay guys, That's we're gonna nice. have to give this one a bit of a squirt and we'll get back to you, but we're really excited, so uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, so we've given it a bit of a squirt of water and I am absolutely chuffed to say that this is a nice big Elizabeth I silver sixpence. Um, 
it's in pretty bad condition because either the soil has not treated this one too well or it's been thrown into a fire or something like that but you can just make out the bust on the back here and then the little rose here just behind her head and on the front side there is of course the uh, the shield and above it says 1565 uh, so there is a slight chance that this is going to be maybe not all silver it could even be could even be a pretend silver coin to be honest um, but I'm, I'm ultra chuffed uh, to find that we've got a few hours left to go as well so that says to me that there's definitely some nice hammers in this uh, area and um, yeah a lovely Elizabeth the first almost full flan silver sixpence woohoo So I've just had another really interesting little find here. Now don't get me wrong, it's completely ruined. I mean, there's no detail on it at all. But it's actually a coin, and it's a very thin coin. It's got lots of uh, old patina still left on it. And yeah, as you can see, it's really, really thin, um, which means it could possibly have been another Jetton, although quite a small one. But it also could have been a little token or something like that. But that's pretty cool. Um, just goes to show there is stuff in this field and it's definitely worth pursuing. Just a big lump of lead, unfortunately, guys. Nothing special. But we've got about an hour left or so. Um, it's getting late in the day. It's about half past four. So uh, we're gonna push on, just see if anything else comes out. And of course, um, if we get something good, then you'll be the first to see it. Okay, guys, so um, it's getting pretty late in the day now. And uh, I'm just sort of making my way back to where the car's parked. And um, I've had a pretty good signal. I'm, it was actually a screaming signal so it was definitely worth digging this one and uh, I've pulled it out and it's actually a really nice little button now this button would have been uh, gold gilt at one stage as well and um, it would have been quite an impressive little thing and it looks like it's got uh, something on the front as well which is possibly like a crown or something like that and uh, some maker's initials on there as well so this is probably quite a nice uh, 18, 1800s silver gilt bucket button pretty nice Okay guys, so we've reached the end of a fantastic day's metal detecting today. You guys have been along for the ride and you've seen the bits that have come out of the ground and we've had some pretty good finds to be honest with you. Considering where we are in terms of being quite close to the old mansion house, um, you know, I was expecting to get some good stuff but obviously we have had some really, really interesting bits and I definitely think it's going to be worth coming back here to investigate some of these fields even more, um, especially when the grass is a bit shorter as well. So there we are, there we have it. Um, absolutely great day out, I'm so chuffed. I'm going to go home now, it's about six o'clock. And yeah, so that leaves me to say guys, 
thank you very very much for watching as always and uh, if you have enjoyed this video and you want to see some more please consider hitting the subscribe button and obviously the thumbs up button if you like the video and if you can help with any of the finds as per usual please leave a comment below I do reply to every single comment so um, yeah please do that that would be great so that's it until the next time guys see you on the next one